you doing? Welcome to the show. I'm really excited because Sarah Jessica Parker is going to be here this week. That's right. So why don't we just start things off, and the sooner we start, the sooner Sarah gets here, it's going to be great. So let's watch this. Anybody seen Sarah? He showed you conspiracy in JFK, rebellion in The Doors, greed in Wall Street, the agony of war in Platoon, and more agony of war in Born on the 4th of July. Hi, I'm Oliver Stone, and this summer I invite you to witness my latest creation. It's Oliver Stoneland! Welcome to the future site of Oliver Stoneland, my own amusement park. Let me be your host as I usher you through reality, my reality, a magical place where the objective is not to escape, but to confront. Inspired by my hit film, The Doors, is a feverishly psychotic maze called Mr. Morrison's Wild Ride. It's an enhanced trip through depression, self-delusion, and crazed egomania. I wanted everyone to feel the fire that is Morrison. That's all right. You can get on, you little lizard king. <laughs> At Oliver Stoneland, we question authority. Each bathtub fits a family of four. But beware, this ride may remove your will to live. Bring it all through! Bring it all through! I am an Indian, but I also represent death. I am an Indian, but I also represent No, death. Jim, no! Give me some death. No, Jim, no! Give me some death. Come on! The only way out is death. The only way out is death. I'm not really dead! Morrison was the lifeblood of a generation that was sucked down the bathtub drain of the apathetic 70s and into the materialistic cesspool of the next decade. But the ride's a gas. If you're into communications, why not try Talk Radio Town, where you and your family can broadcast your very own radio show and get killed afterwards. But if it's musical merriment that you want, don't miss Platoons, a rabble-rousing salute to a war we've never stopped fighting, as performed by the Combat Rollers. And with show-stopping numbers like Viet Wow, who's gonna protest? Viet High, Viet Low, Viet Stop, Viet Go, Viet Down, Viet Now, Viet Boom, Viet Wow! Combat rollers are true professionals. They're cynical, angry, fed up, and great skaters. I was very lucky to find them. How you doing? And uh, we're here with Janine. Very excited. Sarah Jessica Parker is going to be here at any moment. It's going to be great. You know, she has a boyfriend. 
Yeah, so what? What, what does that mean? So She's just guest starring on the show. You have a crush on her. No, I don't have yes, a crush you, on her. You so much do. I do not. What? Just because she comes on the show, I have to have a crush on her? I don't understand that. It's, well, why is she, what are we going to do with her? Why is she on the show? Uh, I'm going to go have a picnic with her. I'm going to have a picnic with her. That's, that's what I thought we did. You were going to have a picnic yes. with Sarah. Yes. I don't right. recall you having picnics with other guests before. Yes, it's a new idea. It's a new concept for really? the show. So, yeah, so why don't we just go to this film mm-hmm. right now, okay? It'd be great. She really has a boyfriend? Yeah, she's been living with him for a long time. Pan America Insurance Company profiles Salesman of the Year, Philip Morrow. If I have one strong point as a salesman, it is my ability to locate and tap into new markets. For the last two years, Philip Morrow has been traveling around the country attending to the insurance needs of a very specific demographic, the Grateful Dead fan. In order to meet their insurance needs, I had to understand their lifestyle. I wonder who their beneficiary was. You know, get into their heads. Mind if I sit down? No, go ahead, man. Oh, man, I'm psyched on this concert, man. Yeah, I hope they so play trucking. Truck, yeah. truck, truck, truckin'. Truckin'. <laughs> you got health insurance, man? Take insurance. Some right. take drugs, buy food from strangers, and get no exercise except for the Space Jam. They need insurance. Hey, when Jerry Garcia went into a coma, man, he was covered. Hey, being a deadhead doesn't mean being irresponsible, man. It means being free. You know, the only people that are grateful when someone is dead is the recipient of life insurance, man. Yeah? I mean, what happens if you go on a little trip and you never come back? How are your little deadheads going to go up to Albany or go out to Minnesota and catch the dead? How are they going to do that without any money, man? I'll just put them in Larry's van. Getting them to sign the policy is not always easy. Dragons, man, they're all over the place, man. They're fighting on me. I mean, cool out. Free, free legs. No, 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 look, I got, I got dragon insurance, my man. You Just sign here. The dragons are going away. You can I can protect fight. you, man. Yeah. The dragons are going away, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You're a hero, man. Peace, brother. You're a hero. No, no. Man, you sign on this bottom line. What you is- sign on this bottom line, and you're gonna be so free, man. You're gonna be like flying. Freaking me you're out. You're gonna be flying, man. Yeah. Sign out, man. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. I love you, man. I love you, man. Peace, brother. Peace. Hope they play trucking. All right. Take care of yourself now. What did I just sign? It's a lot of work, and the funny thing is, I'm not a big fan of their music. But I have to admit, it's grown on me. After 400 shows, it had better. This program is working so well that I'm going to start touring with The Cure. The boys in the office think I'm crazy. Crazy like a fox. Now you understand suicide is not covered under this policy. Hey, welcome back, and we're really excited because Sarah Jessica Parker is going to be here. It's going to be what great. What is this? What? Yeah, what's with the change of clothes? What do you think you are, Madonna? I understand I can't change clothes during the show. It's, it's no big deal, you know. What's, guys, yeah, listen. Well, when she, pe- I know why. When she gets here, just move out, all right, please? Why? Just, oh, what? Three jerks standing around spitting and arguing about football is going to cramp your style, huh? Yeah, it is. So why don't you just please come, come on? It's just too oh, weird. Oh, ben. Hi. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Good. Sarah Jessica Parker, this is great. Thank thanks for being on the show. Oh, it's really great. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Enjoy. Guys, I'll see you. It's Great. I wish you could hang out, but Are you know. Have to leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got to go. Oh. They have to really. Uh, they got to go do some uh, charity work over at the uh, homeless oh, shelter. Really? Yeah. A volunteer? Yeah, That's yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So you, you, I probably don't have time to volunteer. Right oh no, no, no. I was, I was, um, I was there this morning. This morning around uh, five thirty, I get there. Really? Yeah. Every morning, try to put in the, the hours early. And why don't we just That's go amazing. to? Yeah, yeah. I, why don't we just go to a movie? Cause, uh, or a film or whatever we got coming up. It's, you know, weekends too. I try to do as much work as I wow. can for... And now, Jake Steele, marionette cop. It was Saturday night, 2 a.m. I was walking my beat when I noticed an open window at Shemkin's Market. Suddenly, I spotted two young punks climbing out the window with their arms full of stolen groceries. Freeze, dirtbags! See you later, Kappa. Oh, I'll be seeing you. In hell. I ain't going back to the joint, pig! Oh, God. Bye! 
legs! I can't feel my legs! Gino! Gino! Get up, man! Get up! Oh my god, you killed Gino! You stinking pig! You killed my baby brother! You dirty stinking pig! I'm gonna kill you! Hello, Department of Sanitation. This is Officer Jake Steele. Send a truck to 6th and Main. I need you to pick up some garbage. I've got to meet her. Down, boy. It's now or never. I'm going to introduce myself. Attention, shoppers. This man wants to make a good impression, but he's got... Dandruff. What? The only thing she's gonna do when she sees you is flake out. Hey, will you quit talking like that? Like what? In that voice. Will you stop speaking in that stupid, funny voice all the time? Newsflash, this is the way hip and clever young people are supposed to talk. Yeah, well, it's just stupid, all right? Here she comes. Hi. Hi. He shoots. He scores. Whoops, looks like somebody noticed your dandruff. Hey, what she noticed is how lame you were. Hi, my name is Bob. Hi. And I'm the amusing young friend who teaches them all about... Dandruff. I'm really sorry about my friend. What's wrong with him? Well, for one thing, he's obsessed with dandruff. Oh. Are we having fun yet? And for some reason, he keeps speaking in these irritating, funny phrases. I just, just hate him so much sometimes. Better beam me up, Scotty. There's no intelligent life here. Do you want to get a cup of coffee or something? Yeah, I'd love to. Great. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Hey, Mr. Wilson, you know why your wife left you? You've got dandruff. Blue and white dandruff shampoo, because we think this is the way really cool people talk. Caution, use of this product may result in decreased sense of humor. Manufacturer is not responsible for loss of friends. The Ben Stiller Show is brought to you in part by Oliver Stoneland. And now, with more information about the park, it's Oliver Stone. Start your day out on Main Street, 1964, where the American dream died just after Kennedy did. While you're at the park, be sure to take a trip down Lil Wall Street, where you have to avoid the falling stockbrokers. Where's Charlie Sheen when you need him? And if you're in a really adventurous mood, why not give the Born on the Fourth of July bumper chairs a go round? 90 solid seconds of clanking metal and bitter regret. I believe you need to ride this one a number of times to fully feel the frustration and anguish of the Vietnam vet. Hey, hey quit it! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> or if you're in a different type of mood, try late 60s land, where the atmosphere is bitter and discontented, but the salad bar is all you can eat. And coming in the fall of 94, experience the wonder of the Hall of Conspiracies, where every hour on the hour, I'll expose the fabrications of our government through the use of animatronic robots. We are through the looking glass, people. Black is white, and white is black. Who did the president? Oh, man, it's a mystery wrapped inside a riddle, wrapped inside an enigma. Sure, they're only robots, but aren't we puppets tied to the strings of corruption? And on your way out, you'll be able to visit and have your picture taken with Oscar, one of our highly coveted pals. So come and enjoy the distortion of reality that is Oliver Stoneland! Why isn't he bald? I told you people, Oscar's bald. I know I have six of them. I'm working with incompetence here. I have a vision of this thing. How come no one else can see it? I went to Vietnam. I'm not afraid to kick butt here. Now, who's responsible? Get me a razor. I'll shave it myself. Hey, we're back. We're having a little picnic here with Sarah Jessica Parker's. Man, I just, um, I'm sorry to interrupt. I mean, I don't want to, you know, ruin your flow or anything. No, no, it's okay. It might not be the right time. I just want to understand the concept because mm -hmm. I'm sort of confused. All right, so 
I come on the show or you have a guest on the show and then we come on and we help you introduce like, you know, clips or movies or whatever those little things you do are. Right. And then what, like we're supposed to eat a big meal? Uh, well, no, no, just this time we're having a little picnic here, so, I mean, it's not like every time we have a meal, just oh. I thought it would be fun, you know, to do. Oh, and then, and then the show, it, it always takes place out in the wilderness? Uh, no, just this time we're doing it out in the oh. woods. It just, I mean, it wasn't even my idea, I mean, it was the writers, you know, the writers oh. wanted to. Well, so then where's, where's the rest of the cast? Because I was told that I was going to be working with a whole bunch of people, you know, not just you. Oh, well, well, it's not like we're alone. I mean, it's not like just us. I mean, this is like kind of like America's here. We're having a picnic with you. It's kind of like America's having a picnic with you through me. I'm kind of like a vehicle for America to have. Oh. I didn't even want to do this. I mean, this was the writer's idea. I just, you know, I don't want to have a picnic with you. It's not like, I mean, not, not that I don't. I mean, I'd love to have a picnic with you any time. You know, I mean, I don't, I'm not, there's no pressure about that. That's not even what I mean. You know what? Do you want to have some, um, I got Grecian chicken? Which is, do you like? No, I'm not even hungry. Okay, then don't eat it because it's not even, you know what's saying, real. This is just, it's all fun, props, and um, why don't we... Weird. Let's go to a, a film. Could we go to a, a little film? Oh, man. A nightmare. Oh, horrible. Everything's going to be destroyed. David. Where is it? It's right over there. Get out of the house. Is there anything I can do? Get out now! Always forget that. Baby, gotta make a poo poo? Huh? What a nice dog you got. Oh, yeah, thank you. She's a real sweetheart. Hey, have a nice day. Yeah, I'll try. Races, uh -huh. And I loved licorice, and I always looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> in high school, 
<laughs> hey, Sarah. How are you? Sarah, I got the frisbee. Sarah, I got it. I got the frisbee. Oh, go. hi. How's it going? These guys aren't bothering you. Oh, they really no, are. they're they're hilarious. Yeah, well, Thanks, they're, Sarah. Yeah, they're great. No, we're going to get together next week. We're going to play volleyball or something. Oh. <laughs> you oh, left. Right. We had to keep the show right. going. Right. Well, do you want to go? You want to go play? Should we go uh, on um, Yeah, maybe in a second. I just want Andy to finish his story. Could so you wait, funny. please? I think they need you down at the soup kitchen. Go on, anyway. I think it's chicken noodle today. I had the headgear, too. (laughs) Right? You know, but I never wore it. Who wore it? (laughs) You know? All right, well, good. Show's going good. Everybody's having fun. That's what it's all about. Everybody having fun. So, uh... I'm gonna go play on my own, you know, because there's all this... You know, there's a lot of frisbee games you can play on your own. You know, you gotta throw it right up in the wind and... It's not easy. <laughs> you are adorable. Oh, thank you, sir. It's time once again for Ask Manson, starring America's favorite answer man, Charles Manson. Our first letter comes from Beth Del Monte from Wichita, Kansas. Dear Charles, I have three rambunctious children. How do you remove a tomato stain from a Persian rug? You can't get a stain out. You think I'm the stain. They, they say Charlie is a stain and they try to rub me out and put me in a jail cell. Only you don't, you just spread me around more. I'm inside your children. I'm a stain all out there in the world. I'm not just locked up. You're locked up in the prison. I'm free. I'm, fl- I'm floating around and looking around. I like it up here. You should try some lemon juice. Ask Manson was brought to you by Happy Children's Toys. Fun for all ages. Well, that's about it. We're out of time. I want to thank my guest, Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, thank you. Oh, was... I have to tell you, your cast is so funny. They are the funniest people that I have ever met. It's oh, really well, actually, it's funny hilarious. you should bring that up because um, I was going to ask you, and I thought now would be a good time. Uh, if you want, I- I'd love to have you as a cast no. member on the show. Okay. I just I, I was joking, actually. I was oh. Kidding around. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. No, no, no. I know, of course. No, I wouldn't even. Not. Yeah. Oh. All right, but you know, if, if ever, seriously, if you just wanted to hang out sometime or, you know, Listen, we could... I have to, I really have to go, but it was nice to meet you and good luck with everything. Bye. Chilled on national TV. <laughs> Why don't you uh, tell another licorice story, Andy, okay? <laughs> What's the matter, Ben? What's that supposed to mean? Feel dizzy? Bob, I guess I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Get him a glass of water. No, it's just... A, somebody get this man a shower. Is there a shower yeah, out there? Yeah, cold shower for Ben. Hello? Uh, no, he's not here right now, but he should be back shortly. Can I take a message for him? Okay. Um, yeah. At four. Okay. And anything else? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I can remember. I'll tell him. Sure. 